Hi everyone, this is NZ Tech Freak, or Murray Winata, once again with another video for the Clove blog. Uh, this time, as promised earlier, just wanted to show some of the other things that you can do with your MHL capable smartphone, in this case the Samsung Galaxy S. Um, in terms of, I guess, things besides just outputting video to your high definition monitor or television. So in this case, obviously I've got my phone already connected and I'm in the browser looking at Engadget's full desktop version of their website. And as you can see, looks really lovely, renders pretty much like your desktop would. And what you'll notice, just flitting around the screen, is a mouse cursor. So I've already paired my Bluetooth mouse. I can double click on stuff, it'll reflow it, for more comfortable reading from the couch at the back of the room. And also, I could also scroll down through links, you might see the links being highlighted as I scroll down with the cursors on the keyboard, or I can even press space on the keyboard to page down just as I could with space on the keyboard of my desktop or laptop. Um, so basically what you're getting is a really, really good browsing experience, like your desktop but on your big screen television, with Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, really convenient. And obviously this is going to be a better experience on the Samsung Galaxy S2 than it's going to be on a lot of other phones, even those with MHL, because the Samsung Galaxy S2 handles flash video so well with this Exynos system on the chip. Um, so you may be aware already that the Samsung Galaxy S2 can play even up to 1080p YouTube or flash videos within its browser without a hitch, just perfectly smooth. One thing that's worth noting while I talk about that though is it won't output them in 1080p from the browser. So I guess perhaps that's something Samsung needs to look at in a future firmware upgrade. But if we exit the browser for now, head back out to the home screen, just to show you quickly a couple of other things you can do. So one thing for instance, reading ebooks is obviously a bit more comfortable on this size screen than it is on your phone screen. As you can see, that's really pretty doable. I can imagine doing that perhaps on holiday in my hotel room. Other things, I guess more from the kind of productivity point of view, if we were to head down and find Polaris Office, which comes pre-installed with a full editing license on the Samsung Galaxy S2, I could go in and either produce a document or perhaps even say I was out and about and I wanted to access a document that I'd started editing at home. I could go into Google Docs, do it that way if it was a Google Docs document, or perhaps even link in with the Dropbox application for Android. Scrolling through, get to my shared folder, there's the first part of my Galaxy S review. It'll open it up for us. When it's finished finished downloading, which at the moment is on a regular GSM connection, because unfortunately 3G connectivity at home is pretty poor. Um, I'm going to editing mode. And then I can just simply type on the keyboard. If I could type. And obviously that's a lot more doable than it's going to be from the phone screen itself. Of course if you want to compose a longer email, again that's going to be more convenient in the setting than it's going to be otherwise. So that was all I wanted to show, just a few things, how you might link with other services like Google Docs or Dropbox for productivity type purposes with MHL and other connection options like Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. And also, just how good a browsing experience you get with this setup. Um, and I use it reasonably frequently at home if our laptop's otherwise occupied by my partner, just to sit, plop myself down on the couch for a bit and do some browsing. 
So that was all I want to show. That's the Indian Tip 3 over and out for the clove blog.